Hey everyone and welcome to the night, it's Midnight HD here, back with another episode of Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin, episode number 4. We left off straight after we just owned a few guys playing, playing death, all the way up there, so we're going to go back up there, and we haven't rested the bonfire, so these guys haven't respawned. We're going to carry on, and I remember there's a firebomb guy who was not being very nice, walking about, there he is. Get over here and let me stab you with this dagger. Come on. I'm worried all these guys are. There he is. Bloody a good throw five on there. He threw that miles. I don't want to go too close because I know all these guys who are playing dead, like this one, are playing dead, not dead. So let's be a little bit careful. Yep, I brought this guy as well. Don't want that. So let's try and get close to this guy without aggroing everyone else. Oi, get over here. Damn it, man. So I'm just going to go for it. He's down. Taking him down as well. Now I'm going to move us, take at risk. Oh god, that's the bad news. Parrying him and taking him for... Oh, I didn't take the post. I thought I would have Dagger broken, that is not a good sign. I'm going to have to go for you as well with a broken dagger. Oh god, this is not good news, guys. Broken dagger. Because I haven't repaired it. Broken straight sword, is that any good? Was that a blessing? I think that was a blessing. I'm a little bit slower now, I don't like that. But I'm going to have to deal with it, I guess. Broken dagger. Is not a good thing to be running with. So let's check any other enemies out what are tending to be dead. Um, it's like a minefield. This is, I'm presuming this guy hasn't been killed yet, so let's go and get him. I'm trying to get that jump off, but I can't it seem to work. Wow, he got me on the range. I'm going to try and go through a parry. Here we go. There we go. Parrying him and finally doing the back. Post, toning his ass. Thank you very much for your throwing knife. Another one on the way after I've picked this item up. And behind door number four, or door number, I don't know, number six or something, is another hollow. Going to get that kick. Good bite. This wasn't too bad in the end. Another broken trace. Well, I could probably dual wield those if I had the right stats for it. Go for another parry. Here we go. Waiting for it. And it stabbed me. No, didn't go well. Didn't go well at all. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, play it safe. Wow, no, I'm not going to risk that. I'm going to go for my Estus as soon as I just got it out of the way. Oh, risky move there, taking them both out. And him face planted that one's ass. So I'm going to, oh, life gem. Yeah, that's proper life gem actually, guys. Still got an Estus flask. Let's carry on. So I take it I cannot power stance this other one. Of course I can't power stance it, dumbass, but I can probably. No, I'm not going to keep it actually. I'm going to keep with one actually, guys. I like having a lot of stamina. So let's carry on. Read message here off and parry stun stab. But enemy ahead. I kind of parried stunned them once and failed with the stupid that move. So let's progress through the mist. I have souls at the moment with one Estus flask. A little bit nervous, I must say. I don't want to die with all these souls because obviously, me being deprived, I could level up, I think, twice now. Be wary of behind. What? Enemy behind? Oh, I can hear them. I can hear the hollows. There's one there. And I blocked your move from this. Guillotine me across the face. We're not guillotine me, but. Chop me off with an axe, you know what I mean, guys. Sounds like there's more hollows ahead. So let's get in there and own them. Hello there. Oh god, they more like owning me. I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Wow, how am I not dead? How am I not dead? Jesus Christ. Heal, heal, heal. That was one pixel health. I don't know if you saw my health then, but that was nothing. Wow, they are really trying to get me killed. 
Leave me alone. I've just killed 20 of you and playing dead. Wow. He's just punching me to death. I'm so nervous. I now. I don't know if I should risk it. I want to carry on. Just picking up a life chain. I just saved my life there. Let's carry on. This guy just jumped out of the boxes. Wood bolt 20. Okay, so let's progress. I can hit another hollow. Hello there. Yeah, they're going after me now. They want me dead. They want my life. I'm not going down without a fight. Oh god, another break from straight sword at risk. That is not good. And they are backing off. I'm going to kill. Wow, he killed me more like. Yeah, this is this is it. I'm getting out of here. This is too damn risky. They are obliterating me. Come on, mate. Here we go. Oh god. Let's see. No, it didn't work. Broken them up now, which is not too bad. Yep. Oh god. Broken straight sword broken. That's two swords broken. That is a stupid thing. Swapping to the next one. This is not going well so far. Dropping another life gem. This is I'm using a lot of resources here just to get quite far. Illusionary wall. Really? Where? I guess that there isn't one. I can hear another hollow. So picking up this item, a life gem again. Yes. And I remember there was a guy who fired firebolts at me. That guy, you can see his feet. He was not very nice last time. Is he a hollow around this corner? Well, more like firing arrows at me. Right. So how do I do this? Full life. Let's get in there and wait for the next arrow and then go after this guy. Arrows away. Go in there. Wow, owning those guys. Watch those fireballs. They will wreck my ass. No idea how I'm dodging all these moves. But I am not complaining. You cannot aim, good sir. Then you got me off guard. There's a guy firing arrows in front of that. You could aim then. I got five of them in the face. Bring him down here where I can own him. Plunging attack right on his face. Good night. Doing pretty good so far, guys. No Estus Flats. I think I've used about four gems, maybe even five, just to get to this area. And where are you firing arrows at me? Where were you? Pick up item. Buckler. That's a shield, I think. Where was this guy firing arrows? Oh, it's this guy over here. Damn it, I got no chance of getting you. Whoa, we predicted my movement then. Pick up item. No, no, pick up. No, god damn it. I need to toggle it. Oh, for God's sake. Keeps coming up pick up item first. There we go. Let me last another throwing knife there. And finally, getting some open ground where I can... I think there's a bonfire on this next area. And I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to take this guy out as well. Because why not? I knew this one here. I remember it from the last one. Without dying. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, should have him now. He's down. Whew. That was a stressful situation, but we are finally hitting the door. And very glad to be here, by God, for the second bonfire. The... Let's light the rest before I die. Thank God for that. So, while we're here, I'm going to talk to this woman. What if I'm poor? My name is Melencia. You're a stranger to this land. Uh, stranger in Hollow. Oh, we get to strangers these days. Everybody's gone and run off. Short draws looks really sharp. Drangleg's been up and hired a rubble since the war fought long, long ago. And the giants crossed the sea. Seemed like the battles would never end. 
She's got a massive backpack on her. Oh, she walks. Oh, she doesn't. That's why I keep all my things right with me. You may travel light, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. <laughs> Very light, no armor, in fact. They say these trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life grown into what you see now. But you know what they also say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> it's high time that I pick up a move. So you're moving, are you? Okay. Up a bargain, that was a please. quick move. Next up we meet that lava. Oh god. Um I'm not interested. Uh, finished there now, so let's have a look what I can buy. Broken straight sword again, a club, a hand axe. No thank you. I could buy some armor, which is a great thing. I'm going to buy the blacksmith's key for a thousand souls, which means the blacksmith is open up. And what about buying the rest on life gems? That's not, not a bad idea, actually. But what about a weapon? I could do with the weapon, really. So let's go up here and kill these guys because I remember there's a few up here. So apparently she's going to move, so the next time I won't see her uh, there. It's locked. Doesn't look like it's a very uh, securable door, so that one's down. Crystal, go after him! No! The bug got away, damn it. And it's proper dark in here, wow. Hand axe and radiant large hammer. Good job I didn't buy a hand axe because she's just selling one. Uh, this is a lot darker than I remember. Exploding barrels around. Hollow soldier helm. I got a little bit of armor. Great news. So what I'll do is I'll go back to Medulla and equip this stuff. Message. Beware of ambush. Oh god. Where are you? Chest. Let's open this chest here. What have we got? Small old shield and repair powder. I can take that. Repair powder will repair my weapons when they're at risk. And plenty of messages and bloodstains around here. I'm guessing something's going to happen. There's somebody quite bright as well. Hello? Ambush, where are you? I'm ready for you. Kind of. Kind of if you don't kill me. I heard armor chink then, guys. There you are. Hello there. Go for another parry. Let's do it. That didn't work. Just wait a bit. Too quick. Down again. And he owned my ass. Come on. Parry it. Parry, parry. Wow. That was good. Nearly two. Cool. Okay. Wow. That shot had so many swings. Another helmet. Wow. I've got about four helmets now. <laughs> and two pairs of boots. Let's have a look in this chest. And a small white soapstone and a radiant life gem. The small white soapstone is the ability to uh, join other people's worlds to help them out and kill bosses and stuff like that. But the small white one only uses it for a limited amount of time. So I've got a few more souls now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head out of here and go back to the blacksmith at Medulla and give him the key. Apparently he's been locked out. So what I'm going to do guys, I think I'm going to spend my souls on a weapon, not levelling up, even though I'm only level 1. Never mind. So I'm not going to use an effigy, even though they look a bit silly. I've only died once so far, probably jinxing that right now. Oh, it doesn't matter. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and... So, someone's locked the door, I'm yeah. I'm bring... I'm bring so... the key. Bought the key off the woman, I have no idea how the woman got it, but uh, used Lingrass's key. So he goes and has a sit down over here. I'm going to open this chest while I can. And I get myself a bow, I think. Short bow, yes, I do. And no idea you got a message up there, but no worries. So what I need to do is rest the bonfire, and he should be in the room. In his last little shop, which I've just helped him out with. You are welcome, Lengras. You stand back. This is dangerous work. Hell. 
hammering an anvil. The name's Lenigrast. Just a simple blacksmith. And you are? You look uh, slightly hollow, actually. Uh, another useless traveller. Kind of. A man ought to labour with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not rope around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, well equipped. Let me have a look. Uh, it's broke. All of it's broke. Right. Except <laughs> another one of them. Worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend daughter. your whole life in transit, you hear? You'll need souls to repair and improve equipment. I know only of smithing, but souls have many other uses as well. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spend. I think you're going to have difficulty saving up a lot of souls in this game anyway. The equipment can be strengthened with rare ore stone, but such ore stone won't come easily. My girl knows her stones, but she's always out prancing about. Now, there's a time for travels, but you can't wander the world forever. Even you must have someone waiting back home. I don't think I do. I think I'm on this world. Right. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't so finish this dialogue now. Reinforce. That's with the time I shot that I acquired. So I've got a few weapons now, which is great news. And plenty of... Oh, I've got a bit of armor now, actually, guys, which is cool. I probably had armor the whole time. I just never thought of wearing it. I'm a complete idiot. So to repair that, I'm going to cost me quite a lot, actually. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go and buy... What do I... Oh, I can buy weapons from this guy. So how much are arrows from that? Ten per one. It's a little bit, uh, well, wood arrows is probably a little bit crap. So I can buy a longsword, I can buy a falchion, an estoc, a rapier, a battle axe, a mace, and a spear. I think I like estocs and rapiers. Problem is, my fin uh, dexterity, if you look on the bottom left there, 12. I haven't got any dexterity, well, enough to use that weapon effectively yet, so I'll have to level up with the Emerald Herald first. So I think the S-Stock, yeah, thrusting slash, and that one's a thrusting weapon. So, I'm going to buy that for 1,000 souls, and then hopefully level up. I'll be That's around. good. Can't, if it, so, I don't know how much it can, probably costs too Bearer. much to level up. Seek, seek. Yes, yes, I know, level up. I think it's going to cost me a thousand, and I am... Oh no, I can level up. I'm only level one. Christ, I've never leveled up a single time. So let's go another point in dexterity. That is going to be a long journey to get to... Uh, 11, at least. Just for the wound of the S of the Rapier. Yes, spend 500 souls, and I'm going to spend the other 110 on... I think one arrow, or is it ten arrows? Just for the sake of it, because I like to have a little bit of range. Oh no, I should really repair, shouldn't I? 370 souls, oh god. Um, that is a difficult choice. What should I do? 430 souls to repair that. I do like the dagger as well. So I can buy 11 arrows. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy 11 arrows just for a bit of range. I'll be around. Now let's have a look if there's anything I can use these uh, souls I picked up for. Soul of the Nameless Soldier. Any of the souls. So let's pop this. 800 souls. That's great. 800 souls is perfect. So what I might do is I might repair both these weapons that I had. What? Repair and repair. Spend all my souls on that. Let's buy a couple more arrows, nine arrows as well. Make up to 20 arrows, that's perfect. And we will head out once again. So I'm probably going to be switching between all three weapons. And I think 
Yeah, I'll switch up to an other weapon and I'll use a dagger when I am ready. So let's carry on at the Cardinal Tower and progress. So looking good so far. Those uh, Soul of Nameless Soldiers definitely improved my uh, souls, which was great. So I could actually repair something. Five souls now. Definitely still hollow. No armor, which reminds me I should wear some. Here we go. Not going for the fashion souls look because I don't have anything to wear. I can't believe I had all this armor the whole time. I didn't know. So is that helmet any good? Yeah, it's not good. I'm at 40%, I don't like that, I'd rather stick at 36 for a little bit more stamina recharge. So let's go down here. Actually, was there an item? Did I miss an item? There was an item on there, let's go and try and grab that. Uh, I'm presuming that guy who was uh, sitting down will be... And forget about the crystal bubble, a stupid move. Yep, you are out of my range. But... Damn it. Never mind, I will get him at some point, the sneaky little devil. And this guy's going down, hello. Get up and die. There we go. You gotta wake up all there. Owning him. So how do I get this item? Let's go for it. Yes. Divine blessing, thank you very much. Uh, carry on, climb down. So there's a hollow there, right in the face, so I'm going to go for him first. Cannot work this thing out. Nice try sneaking up in me there. Wow, nice try owning me. This shot's going out so many swings. And this guy is right in my face. Wow. Oh god, and I died. Yep, I didn't think he'd get me, like, turned around and spinned on it and own me with that halberd right through the face. So, not very good. That was a pretty brutal, brutal death there, straight act straight through the school. Anyway guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.